Hello, this is Christopher, and I'm in a noisy place today. I'm at Ueno Station in Tokyo, and I want to make a short video about luggage in Japan, because you see a lot of foreign tourists these days with gobs of luggage, and this used to not be the case 20, 30 years ago at this very same station, because most Japanese don't travel with luggage. They send their luggage ahead by courier, and for example, this morning, you see that I'm not traveling with any luggage, really. Um, whereas some of these people have rollers and uh, small bags. Uh, I sent my bags from my hotel in Tokyo to back to Nagano, and it only cost me US $15 to do that. And they'll arrive tomorrow morning, guaranteed, uh, in the morning from 9 to 12. And you can do this with uh, hotels, you can also send your bags to the airport, although you'll need an extra day because they really want to make sure that your bags are waiting for you when you're taking off on a flight. So let me show you a little bit about coin lockers here. Uh, actually today, this station is not very crowded. Uh, I just saw somebody off on a train and he told me that the train was a quarter, f em well, quarter full, three quarters empty, which uh, is unusual these days. So let me show you a few things. And now I'm in front of, in front of the coin lockers at uh, Keisei Ueno, which is the terminus uh, for a, a, an express train to Narita Airport. And you'll see that there are people getting uh, their luggage out of lockers. And today, actually, uh, I just walked back there and I would say maybe uh, a tenth of the lockers, one out of ten, are empty, which is quite unusual. The last time I was here last year, at the same time of year, it was total mop scene, impossible to get a locker. We tried multiple places in Ueno Station, because uh, there are lockers all over the place, but everything was full. And uh, we asked at the train station uh, information counter, and they sent us out to a shop a uh, private shop that uh, was accommodating runoff from uh, the station. So that's also a possibility, but it maybe isn't as uh, desirable as these wonderful lockers back here. So when they work, they're wonderful. And I have seen some advertisements for an app that allows you to reserve a locker. Uh, so that may be a possibility, although I'm not sure that all of the lockers run by all of the different train companies that have stations uh, are available for those reservation services and there is a, an extra fee of uh, 300 yen or about three US dollars uh, to, to use the reservations. So I don't, I'm not sure that I would recommend that, but it might be an interesting possibility for some people. And generally what you do here to get your uh, luggage into and out of the lockers in the more sophisticated places with the new locker systems is that you put your stuff in the locker that you want, go up to this central screen in the bank of lockers that you're at, and you tell it, uh, it will switch to your language and then uh, tell it that uh, which locker you put your stuff in and give some money. And you can pay cash or you can, if you have one of these. Um, train cards that's very useful, um, these uh, sort of um, um, Suica cards or Aikoka cards um, or Ikoka, sorry, from Kansai. Um, you can also, if you have money already prepaid into this card, you can use the card as your way of getting into and out of the locker. Uh, and that's quite useful. Uh, otherwise, if you pay cash, you'll get a little receipt and uh, it will have a QR code on it that uh, I think I have one somewhere, but uh, I can't find it in my pocket right now. Uh, so uh, I'll try to actually show that to you without disrupting things too much on the camera. Yeah, so you'll get one of these little slips with a QR code, and you'll need to make sure you don't lose this because it's your way back into your locker, and you just basically bring it back to that central screen 
there and uh, scan your QR code and your luggage, your, your locker will open. All right. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon and hope we'll post some more questions down here. And hope you enjoy a trip to Japan sometime.